several days in the searing desert, all leading up to this moment. It is the finale of the Poker Go Cup. Event number eight, a $100,000 buy-in. Final table is set, but the bubble has not yet burst inside the Poker Go studio. Five players remain, only four of whom will get paid. Ali Nijad, alongside Maria Ho and an illustrious five pack, gathers round our felt with a thick bubble, 230,000. Awaiting fourth, nothing for fifth. And you look at the Poker Go series standings, only three players are eligible. Ali Mshirovich, not pictured, is in the lead. But Daniel Negranu can ice it with a third. Sovereign would need to win and have Negranu finish fourth or fifth. And can Sovereign add yet another major title to Poker Masters champion? Back from 2019 on his resume, he has the lion's share of the chips. Over 2.2 million. Negranu in second and some nerves on Mshirovich, who looks on $50,000 to the overall winner. Hanging in the balance, Dan Smith and Kerry Katz. Also up there, as you look at the payouts, over a million to our champion. The 230K for fourth is on deck. Sean Winter, your short stack coming into the play, which begins at 20 and 40,000. Winter with just 385,000, slightly north of 10 big blinds. Maria, will anyone dethrone Sovereign? Here comes the cowboy. I don't cowboy think says no. so. Cowboy I, I just I look at these the money. stacks and it's gonna be real tough for anybody to contend with him just because they're gonna be quite handcuffed Everything. given <laughs> all of the ICM. No kidding, huh? No kidding. There you go, he said. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess I don't have to look the other one. <laughs> and if you think that we've seen some real ICM what? jailhouses. Queen du Sud at 9 6 against nothing. Okay. You see cats. Oh, wow. 50 plowing. 50. Carrie's all in first hand like 90% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> He's always ahead. He yeah, because Sovereign. I feel like you're going to win this what one, do you Sam. Want? I think Sam's going to win. What do you want, though? Sorry. No, oh, sorry. I want Sam to win. He called me with nothing. Of course he wants Sam to win. No offense, because you're rich and stuff. You don't need the money. Moved all in, expecting no one to be able to call, but Cat yeah. says, let's go. Oh, and his ace jack man. looking very good against 9-6. What's a good sweat? Seven. Where seven, is an ace? Seven, eight, four, six, nine. An ace. Ace is a good sweat. Seven, eight, four, six, nine, <laughs> deuce. Yeah, good. game over. GG. Five of clubs. Sovereign drawing dead no, and a very nice start to the Almost affair eight, for Cat, who immediately leaps. You would have got a walk. Too. Into second in chips What's ahead of Negranu Maria. I was mentioning how you and I have both I borne witness to a number of ICM jailhouses <laughs> at the final one. table. Yeah, but if you think that, it was bad before, <laughs> yeah, about 25. we have not, not just the fact that Savile was all alone wait, up wait, top. One of them, the nine, six? He, actually, he thought it was nine. With a bit yeah. of a narrowed yeah. gap now between he himself and Kerry Katz. But you have the money bubble it. as well to consider, right which is 230,000. <laughs> Never yeah, mind you know. right. this you know, series the title. They, place freaking gets the ace check. Yeah, they, they set him up with a 9-6 off. I mean, how could he not go all in? <laughs> You're right. I mean, it was a cooler. <laughs> what a cooler. <laughs> which both Negrano and Sovereign yeah. are vying itself. for right yeah, now. It kind of did, actually. Listen, <laughs> just layers no, upon no, layers yeah, of dynamic a happening a here today. Might you guys pill. might see some things that, yeah, you know, might make you scratch your head a little bit. But trust me when I tell you, these yeah, players pole. know how I'm they need to navigate, and sometimes four, it may straight? seem a little bit unorthodox, but you know, we never really get to see this part of these high roller events, the I bubble, like and people will oh, yeah, definitely have to play uh, a certain type of way. That's the worst, that's the worst, <laughs> worst, that's the worst I've gotten in. And, and you see 9-6 off suit was how Savril Sav started the affair. Here he is with 8-3 off. It really does Same not distance. matter. He is going to apply the pressure and expect the rest of the field to comply and put the cuffs on. But if we know one thing about El Jefe, Kerry Katz, he's capable of bucking the trend. 
Yeah, Cat's this obviously in a much know, different position right now after <laughs> doubling up, but <laughs> certainly Ace-5 is oh, suited, <laughs> a hand that you can defend huh? with, not something you're going to go pre-flop crazy with Harry's off of 27 hand. bigs, but <laughs> hey, it could flop real well. Two fours and a 10, and eight three is in complete no man's land. Cat's checking, and this is perhaps where we're going to see how difficult it becomes to navigate post-flop, though Katz picks up the nut flush draw and nut no pair with tens and fours on board. Yeah, Sovereign against Katz's stack and just the fact that he knows Katz will be calling with a fairly strong range is not just going to blast off post. And that is the one st stack that now, courtesy of the double, will certainly navigate the waters differently. Three is inconsequential. Sovereign just playing eight high. See Katz flinging a bet out there. And yeah, the old ten. He is two for two against Sovereign. Not how Sam scripted the start to this thing. So I'm putting you on every hand. Sovereign does not control his own destiny. He would need to not only win here today, but of All course of get Negranu to finish never no higher playing field than leveled. fourth. Should Negranu finish never third or better, he locks it up regardless of outcome. Here and carry. Maybe keep Sam in line a little bit. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Katz. What are you talking about? It's your to dream the rescue. Story. I, I'm, f I'm doing everything I possibly can to help Ali win that trophy. I know. What do you think his chances are right now? You might have to right hold till the next break. What price? Um, I thought Ali was dead. No. If no. he doesn't win, if, and if I he doesn't, He has to finish third That's or he has to win. You, Otherwise, you Ali wins. You actually have to root for carry there. Oh, yeah. A double carry uh, first hand. Well, kind of, not really. No. Cat's not well, it exactly cool correct there. No. Man, I actually I was. I think I was for uh, Daniel I third, like the bottom, like. and Negranu locks up the I series title. It's a fifth or a fourth, and a no and win for Sovereign. Yeah, he, he jammed 9 6 off, and I, yeah, I, I, I heroed with the but ace check suited. That would allow him, Shurevich, to maintain the lead. You look like you were mustering courage up on the All in. Fucking Dan Smith. I fold Cowboy Dan. Cowboy Dan Smith ready Cowboy to take his Dan. chances. Fourth in chips. Big hand. Doing it. He Two could pull eights. off that hat, though. 100%. It's it's not easy, but uh, I'm right, digging Sean, it. All right, Sean, your turn. Well, it may not be easy in Manalapan, New Jersey. I'm chipping everyone else up. <laughs> which is where Dan Smith is from, or on the You're campus of the University of Maryland, yeah. <laughs> perhaps. He might stick I out a little bit. the right way, you know? Yeah. But... Uh, Elsewhere, You're just trying to like at a poker a table in our studio. No, I got a chip dump to everybody except the ground. It works. <laughs> you keep everybody just else pumped doing. up. I got to get you in fourth. <laughs> I've had no decisions so far. That's good. Although I would have beat you that hand with queen 10. 10, 10, 10 4, 4. All in. All in. Good out of ten. Good shot. I mean, whatever. Wow. Sovereign came for Sean Winter's Queen stack, but three off. Better. Wow. I'm not Queen here to six. play, Carrie. You just not interested. Pulling your way to the bubble. Well, I already did. <laughs> Look at our tournament format brought to you by PokerCoaching.com. This the largest of the eight event buy-ins at 100K. Levels, same as always, 40 minutes, 200K starting stacks, and just one re-entry was Stevie? provided. And you were kind of I, you, you 30 second like, shot clock in effect, six you know, time aces, base provided each player. King, by the way, aces and kings back to back. When I raised two hands in a row, aces and then kings. Really? And then I had ace king on the next one. So it's like just random. And I did have one queen 10 suited which you, that you jammed on, and the jack 10 suited. Oh, wow. I did crush. But that was that was the that was me just getting crazy. They didn't even snap hold me with it. Queen ten. All in. All in. I was tilted. I was just annoyed. Oh, we were just talking about the hand too. <laughs> I got it again. He, he said everything. Oh look. Ten suited. Yeah. Folding that just for you. You got the nine four. 
<laughs> oh, baby, what a lay down. A soul read. Sick read. That was a soul read. I just freaking knew right there. Ace. You feel it? It was a good ace, too, actually. It wasn't bad. Yeah? I mean, it wasn't like I, I would have defended if you raised, like a normal raise. I don't have time for that. <laughs> He's like, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Two tilt. He wants to get in the uh, 10K over there. Rake yeah. free. He's rake free regardless. Great point. Only two chips in play, brought to you by Nerd Focus. The official drink of too? Poker Go, and oh, of course, Brent Hanks just, uh, in the pregame shows. Gonna... He's been housing that stuff. It's on me, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Been a crazy I mean, we tried it for the first time challenge. yesterday, Ali. Yeah. I tried it more than you tried it. That's true, but you did give me a half opened can already. I like, had not drank from the can. I poured relentless. it over some nice ice. <laughs> Allowing me to a little drink in the <laughs> appearance of the beverage. Nerd focus on the rocks for you. Yeah, I don't like it neat. All right, new one. Now we're even. Hmm. And despite Katz having doubled up and narrowed the gap between himself and Savril, Sam certainly continues to be in a lovely position here where he has to imagine everyone is just going to put the cuffs on themselves and await somebody. <coughs> to draw a line in the sand and burst this bubble. Man knows how to find his way to a major got title. You got 2018, seven he was a high roller lines, of the year. Right? 2019, the, the Poker 15. Masters champion. I double, I'm in first, I think. Got that South Florida poker pedigree. <laughs> Defending who? Dave 80. I can't wear a pair of sweatpants <laughs> into the studio without Sam Sovereil. Ask me when I'm going to get my FUBU sponsorship. <laughs> Cats with dominating cool. hand and enough chips to again be calling out of the small blind. Whereas a lot of these other players don't have the freedom to maybe play some speculative hands post against Sobral. King, Queen, Trey, and Katz again with the better of it against Sam here. It feels like this texture is looking for an obligatory C bet from Sovereign, but of course, Katz will not be folding. And the thing is, is again, Sovereign will not just take off post flop against Katz's stack. But certainly when the board presents itself in a way where Sovereign feels like he should have the ability to maybe get cats off of some weaker holdings. He's going to go for it. And look at this ace of diamonds on the turn. Obviously, everyone knows that Sovereign's range is wide, wide open right now. Typically, he might have followed through with another barrel on the turn, maybe tried to rep, and perhaps even a third on the end as we see the queen pair. But cats, the one stack he really does need to respect and be somewhat wary of. And Perhaps the, the player like showing his hand, so that's the minimum. That would be least apt <laughs> to hand. be compliant <laughs> out of this lineup. Would you agree, Maria, with regards to the ICM agreement of sorts? Yeah, definitely. And Tip the thing the is, is when range advantage is very unclear, hours. as you were mentioning about how wide soft is going to be, it really just makes it <laughs> so that Katz is able to kind of maneuver in a situation and maybe I find a lot of calls pre-flop and especially like pose that he wouldn't yeah, he's got, if he I mean, were we able were to, like, you know, give Sovereign a little more credit. There's only, there's only 115 total bigs. Katz yeah, astutely pointing hours, out that we have 115 this is brutal. <coughs> total bigs. And glance up at you the top of the screen. Usual. The distribution <laughs> landscape Actually, looking far yeah, differently now as Katz <laughs> is batting 1,000 against Sovereign after digging in out of position on multiple occasions and finding his way to victory. They are now ever so That's slightly good. separated. And mm. Cats could potentially begin yeah. to wield the war hammer against oh, the remaining he, three you win. as he, well. He doesn't win, and I come for it. You still win? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And there is a look at Sam. On his way into the building, doesn't look all too nervous. Daniel, of course, always equipped with a full day's arsenal of sustenance. The 
longtime vegan. Cat's wearing the uniform, basically. Khakis, the black polo, the black poker go hat, and Dan Smith with the summer edition of Cowboy Chic. I feel like yeah. Negranu is rocking his own po poker uniform of sorts, wearing that hoodie back to back, maybe out of superstition, Ollie. Stranger things have happened. I just like that they keep it to outerwear and not underwear. <laughs> Sean, are these 19s or 20s? Oh, sorry. Sean Winter, the shortest of stacks. This is him. I do. Hmm. Wow. Trying to determine whether or not now is the moment with Queen 9 suited. Yeah, certainly in a blind versus blind situation. Like so. Ace of two suited. Able to close One the action is very important when you're like deciding what you off. should be doing with this type of hand. So far, Sean, I've been following your rules. 100%. I mean, this is this is very, this is like zero. very close. Zero, I haven't played a hand. You might just have ace two suited. I got a big fucking hand. How much do I have? Uh, like, whatever, I have just played two blinds. All right, good hand. Six, six and change. Ace king? Not that good, but. Ace jack? Yeah. I'm on it. I think good is very relative to yeah. Sovereign right yeah. now, Winter. <laughs> I don't think Sam minds a fold there. He's <coughs> not been doing yeah. so well when people take a flop with him. High card. I had a big hit. I had a big high card. Folded eight. Don't, don't let your, your dog drink out of that trophy. <laughs> okay, good. That is what I've been thinking since I've been seeing that Poker Go Cup trophy every day is that would be a great cup to drink out of. I think he wants Little. a brand ambassador to win. I think he wants Daniel to win. I want us to have a poker go boot. <laughs> Drink out of that. Have you ever done a shoe bomb before? No, although I was watching the UFC right. recently, and there was an Australian fighter who would drink beer out of fans' shoes on his way out of the ring after he won. He drank it out of, out of his own shoe, and then... Started drinking it out of other people's shoes. As I we see mean, Sean Perry and Ali Amshirovich looking on. Ali with a real sweat here. Like Pretty nasty, right? Fans' shoes, oh. another level. I've taken a shoe bomb out of my own shoe, but somebody else's, no. Wow. You couldn't pay me to do that. Have okay. you seen your feet? A king. Show it. Show this good hand. I had a suited. Yeah, okay, I'm wearing closed toed <laughs> shoes in here from now on. That's it. Somebody know, have a pair of socks. I don't know why. Come into the, the booth, throw it my way, because now I'm self conscious. I'm not sure how I made that. Two tens, I would have. Because you were scared. You were now scared I feel that. bad. I've never even seen right. your feet. Right, I was afraid. To <laughs> <do it. laughs> you almost didn't want it. And now. you never will. You'd have to call. Always nice when your chip leader getting dealt good hands. 40 40. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sovereign. Only pounds the button. Takes another one. Could have folded. You got cooler. You know, you picked yeah, up the 9-6. Yeah. I mean, like, what are you going to do with the 9-6 off? I mean, it's 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 a snap shove. <laughs> On the chart? I, I'm sure there's a chart that's out there that says it's a positive 1% EV somewhere. <laughs> Those add up, Gary. I know they do. <laughs> I love how much ribbing everyone's doing right now. Daniel and Carrie giving Sam heat over that 9-6 off suit that... Doubled carry up on the first hand of five-handed play here at the final table. Cool. But all the while knowing that if they we were go. in right. Sovereign's chip position coming into the day, they yeah. would be doing that too. And how happy is Sean Winter that he didn't spin the wheel with Queen-9 suited unnecessarily as he looks down at two red cowboys on the button. Yeah. I mean, emergency kings. Anytime you have below 10 big blinds and you wake up with a premium, it's emergency comes when you need it. And despite only having 185,000 coming into this hand, he still does what so many do in this situation and leaves himself a little something behind in case of disaster, where an all-in and an over-the-top shove behind him should occur and leave him fairly confident that he does not want to gamble and allow two other players. Felt like a big laydown. Mm to face off as we see Negranu taking a pass with the ace six suited. Yeah, if he had carrier Sam stack, he would be calling with that hand, but because it would cost him How much you got total? a third of his stack, of his 13 bits, he decided to pass. <coughs> 
And again, Perfect. when you're not closing the action, definitely don't want to put some chips in that you might not get back. Oh, oh. I had an overcard. That was good. I had an ace. You would have been sick if you shoved, <laughs> you shoved and ran into that. A6 of nine. I needed Daniel to call. I probably should have called, too. An ace. That would have been a, a good, good, a good, good feeling, there. Sam. Good, you had a good feel there. Pocket Kang. Sean Winter. Uh, I folded A6 of diamonds because you New told me. dad. I did. Also from the Florida area, though not quite south. No. Up in Jacksonville, where that best bet yeah, casino well, has definitely <laughs> produced some top-class players. <laughs> nice hand, Sean. <laughs> Point system. Thanks, Kerry. Back in business. I made a big lay down. I should have limped. Yeah. Uh, that, that wouldn't have looked strong. <laughs> <laughs> that would have looked like Brewer. That looked like Aces. Min raise yeah, open from Savril. Like yeah. I'm not even sure he's bothering oh, to look anymore. I have no idea. What do you have? A6 diamond? It's that A6? pretend look I was talking about. You just pretend oh, to look, you but you don't really need to look. Days. You can jam and then hope he waits. I would have jammed days. if you folded. <laughs> I mean, if you folded. Yeah, no, he's, I mean, he should be way ahead of you most of the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm never in great shape, that's the problem. You're just never in great shape. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna be good. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have 30, 40 percent exactly. against whatever you Smith, 14 out. big blinds with the jack pair, nine in a position to maybe consider fine. defending, but so again, what? looking like over at Winter's seven right. big blind stack. Yeah. Uh, you can't really have anything done in No, just shit hand. Tight is right. Tight <laughs> is right. Well, certainly when you're sitting on a 230K money bubble, it feels a little bit more appropriate than ever before. And it bears mentioning, Maria, that we do have more majors coming, but of course the World Series of Poker is the granddaddy, and that hits your way not too long from now. Later in 2021, we're going to have exclusive coverage of the World Series of Poker. The prestigious main event streaming across 88 total bracelet events that we'll be bringing you. Decent number of those. I just can't get my head around that. My eyes are just transfixed on all of the subtext, all of the storylines here at this final table. You have your money bubble. You have the fact that Imshirovich, who I may not have explained this correctly, needs oh, Negranu to bust then. fifth. He needs Negranu not to cash. If Negranu picks up any ch uh, points at all by cashing, there's so many players that just. It's between him and Savril. Savril would have to win to take it. Do they wear Dragon Ball Z hoodies? And Negranu, of course, could <laughs> ice it with third. Uh, Me? No, you, I love no, that Dan like Smith is rocking that t-shirt, by the way. He's got no, the... No, carry a limp, and then some guy will rip for like 30 blinds, and like, hey, of course I have aces. That was the old days. I think these are the NFT icons, right? You're shaking your head yes. I think a lot of people went out and purchased what they deemed to be their own likeness for avatar purposes. Yeah, kind of in the style of some crypto punks and things like that. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the NFT space. I was like real excited about it, and now it's kind Sorry. of First open, subsided please. for me. But hopefully, it won't be the last. Cats min raise open hopefully now. Smith open. two tens on the button and a bit of a weird team spot team. for him, Maria. Yeah, I was getting on my turn. Currently third in chips and second in yeah, chips, the man four. who opened. Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. Negranu and Winter out there. Sean with just seven bigs. Go ahead. Yeah, obviously a really strong hand. All in. All in. Moves all in, but it's always a little nerve wracking. Ooh. Oh, and this is exactly why. Should be 590. Savro waking up with the two jacks. Yeah, I mean, 
usually it's not nerve wracking at all to get it in with tens here because you know you're going to be way ahead of the cutoff opener's range. But in this situation on the bubble, <laughs> you would just be so happy to get folds. Cannot believe that Sovereign has woken up with such a big hand here in the small blind. Now, is there any argument to doing something other than just calling if we're Sovereign? Obviously, carry second and chips could put, deal him a big blow in case these jacks were no good. Maybe the min raise three bet that we saw Jason Kuhn employ. Yeah, you see here, instead of ISOing, he calls just in case carry shoves all in after him. Give me my he hand can back. still maybe fold his jacks, jacks feeling against like he's beat. What do you uh, have, Carrie? Sam has jacks. Oh, Dan I has pink queen. I had ace seven. I'm going to go full jinx on y'all. You want your hand back, back Carrie? You want uh, queen here? Can't possibly win. Not oh. oh, the reverse jinx. Mm. Cowboy oh, yeah. Dan. A chance. No, your suits are live. Going yeah. to the gambler's book of superstition. Right? And right. your straights are live. Putting your backpack on and walking oh, away from the table is one of them. Grab your drink, the jacks are better than say you aces. can't win, oh, tell everyone good game. So if oh, ever there was a time where he needed Cole Lady Luck to be on his Cole side, it's right push. now. Way behind with the two tens and not me. looking great. No backdoor diamonds are available on the ace-king five board. Cats would have been in front of the field with king-queen. Yeah, I mean, I have a fun hand. What do you do if you defend against him? Or you just fold? I think I have to. Turn is a red game. eight, and mm -hmm. now it's just one of two remaining oh, tens in the deck to keep the bubble the intact. A, a Otherwise, it out. goes pop. Makes it like it's not happening. Good luck, y'all. Mike's coming off. Oh, no. He's doing all the reverse jinxes. Imshirovich needs three. Smith to hold here to keep himself in contention, yeah, and yeah, no. Game, Smith eliminated. The money bubble has right. popped, yeah. and Imshirovich will not be eliminated. the series <laughs> is he? winner. Yeah. I, what do you I mean? I thought oh. you have to get, if he gets second and you get fourth, what happens? No, I, I oh, no. passed him already. Oh, well, it's uh, actually, that's perfect for the broadcast. Yeah. Very you would the YouTube. I so doubled, I passed I him. Doubled. And then now, huh? a seven heart. one more spot. Queen, queen. I would have won. He's I have, done. I beat you. Oh. So okay, Ali will on. kiss the 50K overlay goodbye. Ace, Ace King, queen. I'm out of there, man. <laughs> no, you're not. Fuck that. How much you got? And all Daniel uh, needs to do. Flesh wound is yeah. outlast Sean Winner here to lock up the overall series title. Sam, if I made he were to be eliminated in fourth, Savril would have a chance, but would need to win it I, I don't, to I really leapfrog have Daniel. Did you have ace eight? No. Who yeah, now sits at the top of the leaderboard. But I had to get in. It wasn't like a bad. Oh, like Jack-10 suitor or something? Better. Sweet one for cats. And you, you might have had me dead. Oh, I thought you had me dead. That's like, I had a suited king. I had a, a very good suited queen. Oh, yeah, I, knew I had clubs. I had diamonds. How sick is that spot? To look down at a good suited queen there. You fucking, you did it. What's the difference between 300 and 200? Negrano decides. It is. The first hand I first voluntarily put. And I'm going to check in the dark. Well, I, mean, I had like half of what. Check. He's willing to defend against this cat's open with ace eight. Perhaps a merciful board texture that would allow him to get away from his holding, which is way behind. <laughs> Four. That's kind of interesting. I need you to not stack off. <laughs> I, I have to try to Negrano both feeling off. like he can defend and no play post. I'm going to start inducing light, actually. <laughs> I can't just open shell. I got to raise call it off. And Daniel picks up the gut shot straight draw on the turn. Of course, both he and Kerry would seem content to get to showdown unimproved. Oh, no. Backdoor clubs do show up, but both players make this ace. Daniel. Keeping it clean. Yeah, Daniel, Wouldn't blame Carey for going for value. Absolutely. And Daniel's aware that, of course, Carey's opening range, first to act, it's going to be. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't expect that sizing, but definitely put Daniel in a tough spot for what sure. Yeah. Carey? What are you doing? That's going to need a minute on this one. Use all Polarizing. those time banks. 
You checked, you checked, you checked, and now the ace come and you just go bonkers. What is this hand? I don't know. Implications. Couldn't just do your freaking 40 trick? A plenty. That would have got paid right away. 138K, the pay gap between fourth and third, 230 and 368K Check. respectively. Check. So like you opened, it's four people. Um, and the overall nine, title and the 50K nine. overlay as well. You don't have a 10. Not a 10, not King High. Not our call. There. King High and Queen High. Let's see. Queen Jack, King Jack. I. 8, 9. <laughs> you know, it's a clog King Jack, Queen Jack, 8, 9. Nine. Does eight nine bet? I think eight nine has a bet. Okay. That's not enough. Ace what? Oh, let's see. Ace, would you go all in with ace seven? Nope, you don't have ace seven either. This is bad. It's a really bad spot for me. Wow. I think Daniel can get away wow. from this. Just right now. From the way that he's been so at risk right now. One more. running Up through the scene. scenarios out loud. You know, not really enough plus. 9-8, a little less likely because 9-8 is probably going to bet with that gut shot from the flop. No, of course, Negrano blocks the 8. Also, 10 wouldn't be played this way. 10 seconds. Don't want to burn too many time banks. Might One need more them later. Eat up all the time. Three hundred ninety-five for a shot at six fifteen out there. Nothing makes sense. Nothing. Nothing at all makes any sense. Clubs? You make a flush. Maybe you made a flush. I don't know. Negrano doesn't block know. the flush. The fold. Good fold. King nine of hearts. Hmm? Good bluff. What happened? You guys and checked it down, and then and then he just jammed. Queen 10 of clubs. You open 7 8, Gary? 7 8 makes it straight. No. Yeah. That's you, have a, you have a queen high, queen high flush or king high? Good lay down from Daniel there. You were either way behind or, or way ahead. Oh, then I was way ahead. That's, you didn't have the same hand. That what do you mean way behind or way ahead? How's that? that? Where'd you fold? Better. A 10? I had an ace. An ace? Wow. Big Damn, big. I folded the best wow. hand. You folded <laughs> an ace? Yeah. You're the only person who folded an ace there. <laughs> so that's why you bluffed. Damn it. I think he had it and waited till you got there. Harry, I like it. Playing for the win, I like it. Give it back there. Harry hmm. Katz. I, got I, me to use five, four times. I had the winning hand that hand. <laughs> you did. If a big flush is good, then <laughs> I had the winning hand. Ace is for Negranu. And definitely no way Sovereign is going to fold. The only good news for Sovereign with these two black eights is that Negrano only had 395 to start the hand. And in it goes. Everybody understands that with Winter Small Stack out there, Negrano's range is very narrow to be willing to risk his tournament life. And of course, the overall series title. Never mind that big pay well, jump. I get a chance to try to do it. I have to. Oh, oh, oh. wow. I guess your patience paid off. Yeah, I have to try <laughs> to bust you. What? Oh, we'll see. <laughs> you get more hands than anyone I know. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them primo. You don't know what the flop is yet. 390. We say you had an eight and you had an eight. Mm -hmm. I have aces. He, he has eights. Horse. He gets aces. I have aces and Sam has eights. I'm dead as always. Well, I don't know. You heard I Sam say, I, I have to, to try to bust you. I, I got a good shot at everything. Yes, you do. That was a good fold. As if Sovereign wants to win the overall title. Wow. Oh, my God. He needs Negranu not to finish third or better. I just want red. That's fucking red. Oh, oh. my goodness. Oh. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm going to die. I'm so the aces Damn. look like a lock on all the right. two sixes well, and a jack flop, and then the eight an ace, on the right? turn. Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, so diamond. <laughs> oh, please. Dealing uh, a physical blow to Daniel, oh, knocking him out of his seat, end. and no ace on now the you're river. you're going to win it, and you're going to win the cup. Hopefully. All right, go get him. 
I should have folded the aces? No justice. I folded right before an ace. Damn. Brock gave me that look, man, earlier, about Fun. 10 minutes ago. He knew. Super bittersweet for Daniel yeah, coming knew. off of that win yesterday. That but sick. unfortunately, yeah, so could not hold with the aces. And now, Boo. doors wide open right. for Sovereil to sweep in <sighs> last minute. Certainly felt like Negranu had the tailwinds at his back. <laughs> that was so smart. Two aces against two eights. <laughs> and that's what it looks like when someone hits a set on the turn and prevents you from icing you. the overall series title. <laughs> Good job, what? I haven't accomplished much yet. And an extra 50k, let alone. I was tied for last. I was tied for staying for in the third. hunt for the and big the over favorite, million the dollar first place zero. prize. 368,000 so far, or more. more. Anybody want to check if one of the wheels came off of that chair? Very might well, be might have. Wheel now. Sean Winter with a lovely little pay ladder there. 368,000 locked up for third place. And a massive jump to 644K for second is on tap. Sean wakes up with an ace on the button and immediately goes to work. Sovereil looks down and is asking for a count. Can you call or give me a shimmy call? What? What are you told him? Sean did leave 5K back here. Not exactly sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to call, might as well do it in style and nine really live with the King Nine. Oh, yeah, I'll have to show you. That's a big fold carry. That's what I'm giving you. You say you had 9 10 suited this hand? No, I'm saying that's what he has. I'm just guessing. And I think Sam just flatted here and has outflopped the Ace Four. <laughs> Check. You see the one lone blue biscuit Check. serving as a card he protector. The, he wants to keep the bubble guy in. Nine and now it's kings good. up oh on God, the end. You really hit a fucking king on me. I hope you have queen, three of diamonds. Check. Six down. Oh yeah, my God, he did. Nice oh wow. I, knew you you. I wish you weren't the big next hand. Nice four. Nice hand. You, you couldn't take that. You want I want him to keep that. You want, all oh, you night. want? You want him to have <laughs> one more hand where you can jam. But he's big blind, unfortunately. And Maria, an interesting spot oh, that Savo. Man. Was all too happy to keep Winter in there with that one chip. Is Explain why. Big blind first? Big blind, big blind I, I mean, first. right, right now, yeah, it looks like Sean is in <laughs> at the big blind, so he This would be a good comeback. This is a free <laughs> hand really carry. win even <laughs> enough where, up, that's nice. where he won't be all in this is a free the very carry. next hand. Can I just, just muck? Am I allowed to fold? <laughs> yes. Am I allowed to fold? Carry. That would be interesting. I don't think I am. I don't think he is. You know, if I double here, though, I got your big blind next hand. I shot at your big, your Annie. That's sick. All right, whatever. I tried happens. that the other day right. and I didn't win. The, the, the stress is unbearable. Paul, I need the I need a ruling. No, I I should win this spot because last time I oh, lost. Oh, can you fold? Spot. You mean? Am I allowed to fold? I might not have a choice. The other day, Paul. <laughs> am I allowed yeah, to fold yes. for free? Yes. I don't think I am. I think we just run it. J Lo, J Lo, baby. Uh, I got a shot at your big blind next thing, Kerry. Savril asking it. whether or not he would be allowed no, to fold. And again, I go I back to the why the is it that Sam would I want Sean to stay here. Like this, and then I, if I won, I would have had a chance to, you know, major spin. Like, if I win, you know. Instead this, of bust him, Maria. This isn't a major spin. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, there's no Annie. No, I get to play. That's for, bad luck that you were I in a big blind. I sh I was you would have won the Annie. God, I was supposed to time bank here. I don't know if it matters. Oh, I can't find oh, these them all. I think it serves Sam's I need purposes tank. as far oh, as keeping Carrie so in jail well, is I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> to have <laughs> a super <laughs> short stack. No, I'm talking about. Can I time bank yeah. before they deal? All right, I in need the a field. Jack. No, I don't. I need a queen. Seven. Jack. Jack. <laughs> I need a queen. Savril with a pair of fours on the bad side of the open ender. Winter turns. Yeah, but I get to shot at. An open ender of his own it needs yeah, a seven queen. or a queen to stay alive now. And instead, yeah, no Sovereil makes the yeah, 10 yeah. high straight and completes the process. I'll take it. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it I'll take it. We are down to heads up play, Maria. $368,000 richer is Sean Winter for the third place finish. No, I'm talking about final but it'll be between El Jefe, Kerry Katz, and Sam Sovereil for all the marbles. And the overall series yeah, title hanging in the balance. Good. good luck, guys. Don't do it to me, Carrie. Negranu is what? in Team Cats oh, in this spot. Yes, sir.
get Negrano. I gotta win. I gotta win Negrano the cup. Lost now. I, can't win the cup. I gotta win with sixty percent twice. Oh. If I bust, Ali wins. No, Negrano wins. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ali's out. So yeah, Ali's seven, out. You gotta... I, I thought maybe he needed third, but no, he needed any cash. He needed third if to you win. Me, yeah. yeah. Brock gave me the look, man. What do you got, like three mil? At least 4.6 in play. Okay. You get to go, right? Stay close. We're going to throw to highlights and be back with Heads Up in a moment. During the pre-show, just grabbed the Warhammer and started beating down on folks until, of course, that big ICM kamikaze moment with the King-10 suited that he had. Meanwhile, Negranu with Duck Soup. Haven't heard that before. Like duck I think yes. Soup is duck probably soup? once you hit mm. the set. Okay. Maybe this is more of a duck bouillabaisse. base. <laughs> Not yet a soup, but the ingredients are there. When does it get to like full blown Beijing duck <laughs> status? Oh like Peking duck? Yeah. When you make quads. Okay. Quads is Peking duck, clearly. Little oh, hoisin, so little good. scallion, yeah. little bun. Mm, the bun. Delicious. The best, isn't it? Nine jack queen and ten nine is the best. Bottom pair and an open ender for Coleman, who defended the big against the 50K open from the cutoff. And deuces do have the benefit of tremendous clarity post flop. You either hit the set or you're staring at three over cards most of the time. Daniel not deterred from trying to represent, uh, even with that clarity of knowing where he stands. We do reserve the right to bluff in this game. <sighs> Is it allowed? Coleman, of course, going nowhere. <laughs> Makes the 35K investment and turns the queen high straight. Right away for Coleman, but certainly Negranu understands that Coleman could have very easily smashed this type of board. Mm. Now Daniel deciding that Maybe my man's got a pair, but not a straight. And let me ask the question at 100,000 decibels. Yeah, and this is definitely the type of bet that's designed to target all of those one pair hands. You know that you're not going to win at showdown, but you're sure going to try to get somebody with a jack X or a nine X without the straight to fold here. But I think this makes it even more clear. No backdoor clubs to create some complications for Coleman, and he has the second nuts here. Checking a third time, and at this point, Daniel knows that it is a stone cold lock that Coleman has the best hand. Nevertheless, straight. No kidding. I mean, you have straight. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah you're good. <laughs> good in. Daniel fired okay. two hundred thousand and knew right away when Coleman reached for the call that his man had the straight. And you're shaking your head back here, Maria. You wanted him to check back. Here we are at level sure. 14, 15 and thirty k. I'm not sure. I'm leaning towards not. How so? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Chrissy can't leave the country, and it's I don't really feel like traveling that much. But I feel like there's here? a good, yeah. Oh, could because of uh, yeah the immigration and whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean I don't know. I, I feel oh. like there's I, I know I know I, I feel like there's a. I don't know. Maybe I'll go. Sixty-five. Maybe I'll make it a quick trip. One point two to start. A little less, yeah. These snowmen are going to feel the heat as Mshirovich has ace-king 
behind the 65K open at the new blind level. Cool. Ali choosing to flat, Maria. Yeah, interesting. Definitely some bit of disguise of how strong his hand is, but also, you know, sometimes some good things can happen with some action behind you. And so far, Deuce is into the muck for Foxen, and now Reshak with threes. Just 35K more to call. 1.8, I think. Okay. And he'll go set mining, but in a bad way against Coleman's eights, which turned into a full house, no waiting on this 8-4-4 board. Both Rushak and Imshervich has reason to believe that their hand could be pretty good on this board. It just depends on if Coleman decides to bet, but he doesn't. Just too much hand to bother leading out though, right, Maria? Yeah. I know there's some value in, in disguising the strength of it because nobody imagines you're gonna fire eights full. 60, but you also don't want to lose any customers, maybe get a check back out of Ali and let somebody improve and draw dead. Yeah, and the expectation is, is usually when you are the pre-flop aggressor that you are gonna continuation bet at a pretty high frequency, but of course, multi-way, that frequency usually should go down. And so Coleman just has a nice situation to slow play. Rushak bows out with the threes wisely. Coleman will flat. I'm sure of it's double checking to see whether or not he has a hard, and that's a very bad card for him. King of clubs. Yeah, just awful. I, I don't think that many other turn cards would prompt Ali to necessarily bet again just because he has so much showdown value with his hand. But now, I mean, he is probably just hoping <laughs> that Coleman has something to call him with. 225. And with two flush draws out there, you want to make sure you charge anybody that's trying to get there. Lee fires 225,000 with just 5% equity, but what he imagines is the best hand so often. And now we're just gonna see, you know, whether this performance by Coleman is gonna be Oscar worthy, really. I, I think you know that you're up against someone really aggressive. You know that he's the chip leader. You just gotta make it seem like this is a tough decision for you to call here on the turn. <coughs> Five of spades on the end means no flush got there, and it is super doubtful that 6-7 is in the building for Coleman. He checks a third time, and with over 800 in the middle, you got What began as five players at a final table in very short order became just two. Here in event number eight, the finale of the Poker Go Cup, it'll be Kerry Katz squaring off against Sam Sovereil, who controls his own destiny. Ali Najad and Maria Ho with the call. Lines 20 and 40,000. Payouts massive. Already a cool 644 grand guaranteed to each of these gentlemen with the first seven figure payout of the series available. A million 58 to be exact. Going to the champ, and of course, that 50K overlay for the overall series title, which Sovereil can use as a cherry on top of that first place payout. Should he best carry Cats right now? And coming into the battle, he's got a tremendous chip lead. Yeah, Kerry standing in the way. Is he taking bribes from Negranu? Is he open for business? He's taking middle pair for the time being as Savril elected to limp in the first hand of heads-up play. 
as King Trey turns into a gut shot straight draw on the turn after both players check the flop. Cats sprinkled 80K out there. Got called by the King High. Now chooses to check. You got six. Savo mm. checks back and first pot of heads up goes to Carey and he's got a big Daniel Negreanu fan club cheering him on as a Cats victory would give Negreanu the overall series title. And Maria Carey's a guy who is no stranger to heads up spots in these high rollers. Not all of them end up on the televised spot like the majors do, but there are so many Aria daily high rollers that were going on in little spurts. And Katz has tremendous results and a real depth of experience against the That's likes right. of Savril and the other regulars, local pros on the high roller circuit. I touched on just how far he's come as a player from the first time we laid eyes on him and all of the strategy he's been exposed to. Yeah, and you know, for Carey, his best finish in 2021 so far is a third place. So of course, getting into this spot, regardless of if he is biased or neutral in the who ends up winning the cup race, for him, finishing first here would certainly be just more proof that he has come that long way that you speak of, and he is just ready to keep competing against these guys. Two for two so far, and another limp pot. On the turn, he gets busy with what was middle pair on the flop. 125K barrel. He's won every hand out. He's chipping away. We got here very quickly. I'm not sure how quickly we'll crown our champion. 40-minute levels, and you see we've ticked up to 25 and 50K with 50K big blind Annie. Making each stack that much shallower. Great spot for Carrie here with King Queen against King Nine. Sabral has the type of hand that when he limps, he's usually planning to limp call any reasonable raise sizes and oh. does end up coming along. Two hundred K a man an advantage Sovereign in a major way. But a nine high two club flop. Two fifty. Two fifty. Cats C bets it. Yeah quick C bet sizable c-bet in relation to the pot unfortunately no Savril has almost as good of a flop as he I could expect yeah, 250k gets called Suddenly almost a million in the middle, and you see Carrie shoot a look up at Sam. Understands that Savril is fairly unlikely to be floating. Now Katz picks up some equity with a gut shot straight draw. Jack or a queen. And if you think about the type of hands that Savril is going to limp call with, certainly all of these middling cards would seem to hit that range fairly well. All in. All in. Whew. That is this one tough bet for Sovereign. I think. Wow. I, it's less. It's about a I don't think either of us expected this out of Cats. Carrie just putting the hammer down with those two overs, with ten. that gutty to the nut straight. With perhaps an image of feeling like he looks like he's very strong here. He raised okay. out of 
position and yeah, gets the fold, gets it Nothing. done. It, it looked huh? super Nothing. strong, didn't it? Yeah, that definitely was... over pair. Okay, oh, shows oh the bluff. Sovereign. Sovereign's not going to be happy. All That's Sam big. had to do was click call and hold. Wants to rabbit hunt. Yep. Yes, he does. Would you have won? Yeah. <laughs> Power play by no one, El No one ever said winning the cup was going to be easy. <laughs> not if Kerry has anything to do with it. And a little smack talk. I like it. Really try to get under Sovereign's oh skin. God. I don't think there's any <laughs> malicious intent. No, but just fun. Just yeah. fun Intense. banter. And the two are friends. I had a hand that I would well, you can tell me I showed you. probably just get it in on the flop. Like King Nine. You were just dead. I would have just raised the flop and got it in. But I trapped and then Oh, that's terrible. No time. Nice. I don't love that Carrie showed it though, Maria. I would have rather maintained my ability to pull that stunt again if need be in a later spot. Now, obviously, having shown the king-queen, Savril will be wary moving forward, but then it's a leveling game where these blues up if you want to get them out of play. Sam might have to ask himself whether or not All right, no problem. there's any way Cats would try to run that twice. Exactly. I think that it's up to, to Kerry to decide how he wants to proceed knowing now that he showed and knowing that Sam knows what he knows. Gorgeous flop for Cats on the button. Top pair and an open ender. Both players check. Kerry just bluffed me in a huge spot. <laughs> Sovereign with the gut shot straight draw. No flush draw, however. Saying it louder for the people in the back. I got bluffed. Well, it's an inescapable reality of poker. Katz's turn bit gets the job done. I'm actually still thinking back on your comment from our time in the booth the other day. Several years removed from our last powwows in the high limit streets of the LA poker scene, whereby you confessed to having <laughs> bluffed me. Now, I don't know whether or not you're trying to give me a complex. And if that was your intent, then perhaps that's why I came with the foot comment earlier. Yeah, I, I can see that you're, you're holding on to it a little bit. But I'm just trying to remember any pots from 12 <laughs> years ago where I wasn't sure whether or not I was laying down a winner. Oh. And to know that you would steal Ali bucks is disheartening at oh. best. I'll narrow it down for you. It was in Check. a deuce hand. So now all you have to do is go through your mental file of the last 12 years of the deuce hands you played. Well, I'm going to tell you something about my deuce game. <laughs> As we see a couple of napkin hands checking back and Check. forth. Nut lows all around, both players playing the board, and Katz will take his shot at it. I like that little sprinkle there. He knows he has zero showdown value. Why not try to pick one up? Was it in a 400-800 HHT mix by chance? Hold him, hold him, triple draw? It was either in a HHT or just an HT. Okay, good. Because I can tell you that I was learning deuce at the 400-800 <laughs> <laughs> HT or HHT level, uh, where I was just desperate would. to play Limit Hold'em. And I had no idea what I was doing in Deuce. I mean, it was a horror show. I mean, I wish I had known that at the time because I didn't get into that game because of you. I was bum hunting Max, who definitely was learning Deuce playing 400, 800 Real HT. estate Max? I'm not sure if he was in real the, estate. The Filipino, Filipino guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yum yums. Ten Jack Queen as Katz made it 100K from the button with this 8 5 trying to get his rally cap on. Not going to get a fold out of Sovereign just yet, I would imagine, with the downsized 50K follow through. Sam calls with bottom pair, looking to improve. 
Not a terrible turn for him as the Jack Paris resolving some potential kicker problems. Oh, that's a welcome river. Tens full of jacks. Save you time. <laughs> and Gats just <laughs> I fall off. open folds. That's good. I had two unders. Like, no way I can win this. <laughs> kind of a weird move, considering that if Sarville had like a 9x straight draw kind of hand, they both would have been playing the board and chopped it up, but whatever. Consider it a gift. Don't forget, we are packing our passports and heading abroad, Maria, to the island of Cyprus. It is time once more for Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Presented by Merit Poker, North Cyprus to be exact, featuring a $250,000 main event. You can catch all the action starting August 24th and running through September 1st, exclusively on Poker Go. Savril, north of a min raise, 115 to be exact. Cats defends. Two heart flop. Good one for Savril as he's got the gut shot and flush draw. Certainly enough equity to be worthy of a bet. And, you know, Cass definitely have a hand, has a hand that he could have potentially continued with, but decides not to out of position. Check folding to the 90K bet. You have 2.9. About a million uh, chips separating our stacks now. Change. Oh, yeah, 2.7. I got Now, you've played some with Kerry in the tournament circuits, Maria. Do you feel like he's a player who is more inclined to play for a big pot? I mean, obviously, we know he's tremendously successful, and this isn't about the money for him. I mean, I think we saw by that king-queen bluff that given the right situation, Carey definitely has it in him to pull the trigger and do what needs to be done in order to win. But certainly when we're talking about pre-flop, I wouldn't yeah, I say that Carey is one of those players that is trying to get into a high variance pre-flop confrontation. But at post, he's liable to really do anything. He gets three bet here by Savril and says he knew one was coming. Passes 100K in button min raise money. Over to Sam, who's beginning to cobble away and create more distance. Was Savril always doing these, these black kind of wraparound shades? I feel like it's kind of a recent development. I feel like I've seen a mix of both, but yeah, maybe more so lately. We used to always talk about Sam's eyes in spots. He would do some weird possessed looking things. I hope this isn't in response to us. Obviously the less of your physical presence that you make available to your opponent, the fewer tells one would imagine that They'll be able to pick up on as we see carry. Keep, keep those out of play if you want them. Get busy on the turn with his queen. and Always one to kind of throw a little something out there with the speech play. Yeah, definitely can be a little chirpy. And and I, I, I was saying, I think the other day when he did this type of speech play in a situation where he had it, that I've actually found him to be fairly balanced. And if you are able to pull that off, then more power to you. Just another tool in your tool belt. Coverage of the Poker Go Cup brought to you by Bet MGM, the king of sports books. MGM, kind of the king of poker rooms out in Vegas as well, between Aria and Bellagio. Most of the action up and down the strip. 
happening under those two roofs. I remember how cool it was to play at Bellagio for the first time after seeing it in Ocean's Eleven. Sure. And being like, okay, I've made it. I have arrived. This is it. And then I promptly lost my first session at Bellagio. Huh. <laughs> no big. I remember feeling like it was an us versus them thing as an out-of-town player mm, and knowing yeah. kind of who the regulars were and the locals were and thinking, I'm going to show you guys a thing or two about how we play in SoCal. <laughs> I, too, got ironed out. Negrano talked about it, how he would cobble together a roll and fly down to Vegas and got his teeth knocked in on multiple occasions before he finally Paul. turned it around, stayed the course. Glad he didn't yeah. give up. We're all better for it. We see both players employing a limping strategy from the button and mixing it with a couple raises here and there. Check. King High is best here. Sovereign not wanting to fold buttons even with the eight tray off. Min bet allows him to pick one up. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I think that we could see a lot of shifts in the way that these two are going to be jockeying with one another here, especially given how much they've played together. All of the context from Pots Unseen by you and I. Yeah, and sometimes I see on Twitter or people ask, you know, why would these people want to play against the same people all the time? And there is just a beautiful dynamic that can develop when you have so much history with another player and definitely things that we're not always able on the outside to see or to understand, but just creates another level of this game that makes it even more complex and beautiful to watch. Cats tried to get away with a limp. Hanks tough with the 7-8. Savra with just queen high on the two ace, two heart, and a five flop. bought the right to follow through and rep, which he does successfully. Tell you what, Kerry wants it too. He may not have any overall series title overlay, but every time that the man who is certainly not a professional poker player by trade, but has professional chops on his resume and under his belt, is competitive and would love to etch his name into the storybook here Paul. by thwarting the sovereign effort and taking down the biggest event of the series. Now it's Katz's turn to punish a limp from Sovereign, which he calls. Beautiful board for Katz, top pair, top kicker. And the seven eights have not been doing so hot. Are those stocks at 500? Yeah, exactly. So I got, I got one one behind. Looks like Sovereign may be considering trying to get a little payback on Carey for the bluff earlier, just perhaps wanting to float in position and maybe, okay, doesn't do it. Thinks better of it. A little. <laughs> A little discipline exercise there. Even I often wonder, Maria, whether or not those exchanges are designed to sort of figure out how strong your opponent is. Sure, there's definitely a little bit of that as well. And again, we're talking about how often Sovereign and Cats have battled against each other. 
Maybe he feels like that's something that has helped him in the past gain a little information. against Jack Seven, swing and a miss in both chairs. Two spade, two deuce board, second flush draw on the turn. Sava with the gut shot now. Betting that equity into an uninterested customer. Point three million, roughly, more like one two, separating their two stacks right now. Fifty eight bigs for Sam. Thirty three for Cats. If you fill up the cup with nerd focus, and then do kind of like one of those coaches showers, <laughs> right? Throw I some mean, ice in there too for effect. It's, it's like uh, the right color. It's a good color. It's bright. It's, it'll show up. It's oh, yeah. Perfect. Will it come out is, <laughs> is the real question. King 8 for all clubs here. Neither player with a flush draw or much of a holding in a limp pot pre. Yeah, we might need to be uh, sponsored by Tide Pen as well if that happens. A pen is not going to cut <laughs> it if true. you get doused. I like those things, though. They work so well. Did you eat any Tide Pods? No. No? Is that a college you avoided, thing? You avoided the meme? Proud of you, Maria. <laughs> Both players hit this deuce on the turn. Now when the king pairs on the end, Katz flings 50K out there. Kind of an annoying spot for Sovereign. Yeah, especially because if he does call, the kicker is going to play. <laughs> Burning a time bank in this spot here. I can't believe he's in a time chip on a one big one bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how in your head Katz is right now. I know I had a black one. I didn't remember if it was. I didn't remember if it was a spade or a club. Ooh, it was a spade. Oh, not good. But that's always fun, you know, when we play mixed games and. Uh, we see I that it it's a a Doogie and it's black. We're like, well, 50-50. Yeah. Let's, let's continue to that fire. That river squeeze, you yeah. get a unique card, right color. You pit me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. I said you pit me. <laughs> I thought it was a nine of clubs. I wasn't sure. I didn't have a club. I know you didn't have a club. I just didn't believe it. I wasn't. I didn't believe it really either. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping. Oh. You gonna re three bet me now? No. Five, six, eight, rainbow. Advantage, cats. Checks back the button with that top pair. Now Savril with the gut shot straight draw. Stick some chips out there. <laughs> and a prompt <laughs> min raise from a whistling carry Katz. Not gonna let Savril get away with that stab. I don't know, getting snap min raised <laughs> by the button by a whistling button. Exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. I mean, how much more relaxed could Carrie be right now? Got that Diet Cola working. He's in his zone now. He's got the uniform. Yeah, that's <laughs> that Diet Cola is Katz's version of Nerd Focus. 
For sure. For a while, he was showing up to work with no hat. Some people on Twitter were saying, hey, wait a minute. That's not the El Jefe uniform we're used to. Y'all sure think that's enough, weird. He responded. I saw cats in a suit recently. So no, stop it. I should have taken a photo. How important Pickers was that didn't meeting? happen. <laughs> It was actually for um, Sam Simmons' wedding, so really important. Probably the most important, Sam and Morgan. Tying the knot. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful wedding. Here in Vegas? Yeah, at the Aria. Really? The casino thing? And for those that don't know, Sam a quick Simmons Tim, carries like son. Yeah. Or if I had just called. Or if you just folded. Called when you had King Queen. Cats limp folding to the pressure. Now suddenly it feels like they're settling in for the long haul, potentially. Though you and I both know all it takes is the right combination of holdings and board texture to have it all come in. Sometimes it's more of a marathon than a sprint. Now we sprinted our way to heads up play, that's for sure. Once the bubble burst. Yeah, but so far we're seeing a little bit of a similar story to yesterday's heads oh up match Sorry. with quite a bit of limping from the button, even at, you know, stack depths that are considered to be maybe closer to the deeper side. And so with that, there's not going to be a ton of bloated pots pre-flop and that is going to account for why this might be a long one i certainly think that the high roller community along with tournament director paul campbell have settled into a structure that they find to be very fair and favorable you really don't want to end up in a roulette wheel kind of situation and you're playing for the sorts of stakes that these guys are, no matter how deep you get into the levels. Cats balancing his limping range with an ace king here. And king queen six board. He min bets and collects the pot. I'll have a 51 years of age. Wife Jackie, six kids total. So Sam's got some siblings. Lives here in Vegas. Spend some time in California on occasion. Losing. Queen nine against nine four, a good spot to be in for cats in the big and an even better one on a queen high flop. And we've seen Sovereign employ a lot of the limping with these sort of trashy hands and then put a little stab in there on the flop in an attempt to pick up what might be dead money as opposed to raising pre. Yeah, and I like that cats just check calls on the flop just because you know that Sabrell is going to be pretty much firing at all boards, especially in position. So allow him to keep stabbing, but he doesn't do that on the turn. Yeah, he reached for some chips. Looked like he might have thought about it, but instead he checked and now about a 50K. 
on the end. And you wonder whether or not Sombrero's going to target some of this cutesiness at some point and ask some questions. You see that the gears are turning, and it feels like it's ripe for a raise and take it. But he's content to just keep it clean, lets it go. You just hate to be wrong in those spots. But obviously, you can't expect to have your path to victory consist of nothing but pedaling the best hand. It's hard to sun run. Speaking of the sun, need a pair of frames. Hit our boys at Zenny up. I wear for everyone. Sovereign should have worked that angle. He should have hit the folks at Zenny up and been like, hey. Set me up. I think the folks at Zenny were kind enough to tell us, Ali, that we could hit them up for a couple pairs of free shades, should you be interested. Did they tweet at you? Actually, I just spoke to one of the reps outside yesterday, so maybe we'll have to check out their You're catalog. always working. <laughs> you are they always working. They came up to me, working. to be fair, to be fair. They didn't come up to me. You, <laughs> you know? You were still in here, that's why. No, I'm just, I'm not. I don't have a friendly facade. You're you not approachable? A, you have a warm and welcoming yeah. smile. No, not not when the markets are doing I was going to say, they saw your TD Ameritrade app open, and they're like, yeah. never mind. Like, not a good oh, time. Oh, that's a lot of red. 6-7-9 with a couple of spades. Yeah. Both players are holding jack six. Good for bottom pair. 50, Advantage cats in the spades department, which is why you see him with more equity than Savril. At 0.1%, if you're wondering, the straight flush option no longer exists, courtesy of the nine on the turn, which draws a check from both seats. Four on the end might be attractive enough for carry, and there is another 50K min bet. You got a seven? No. Good. Uh, oh. <laughs> when he said no to having a seven, Katz thought he was going to get the whole pot. But still, half the pot, not bad. Well, he certainly didn't expect to be beat, that's for sure. Cats mixing it up with the min raise now with a average ish hand, but Sobral with 10 3. Not he necessarily like a hand that I don't know. he would want to play out Less of probably. position if perhaps not taking a more aggressive stance with it. Avril coming with the three bet on a dusty bit of kit. Picking off the min raise open. And take uh, it no, about for the Savril. If Kerry were to emerge victorious here, this would up. be his 200,000 since heads up started. Seventh 
seven-figure cash. He has six in the books, the first of which came back in 2014 when he finished eighth in the million-dollar big one-for-one one drop. <laughs> Daniel's drinking out there. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel probably figuring, you know, it's out of his hands now. So why not start on the cocktail train early? Cool. Nothing wrong with, what is it? The early bird gets the worm in reference to tequila. Is that maybe <laughs> is that where that came from? <laughs> I know it's open bar here at the Poker Go studio, so that always helps. Whoa. Let's not go publicizing <laughs> the For prices. the players. Ah, yes. An important distinction. And we see Savro floating here with nine high. Binks is six on the turn, which oddly enough, Katz does as well, drawing checks in both seats. And kicker problems are resolved in Katz's mind. Not that he expects to be up against another six after the ace pairs. It's a chop if Katz can click call. <laughs> it would have been anyways, but certainly more comfortable King's situation good. on the end. But Katz not interested in making the call. You remember the first time you played with Sam Sovereign? Honestly, it was very recent. It was probably right before the pandemic, I think, in a tournament in Florida. And I was surprised that it took so long. Down at uh, Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, yep. at the WPT. Always a huge event down there. Both players sharing a six here. Check. Advantage Cats with bottom pair and the same gut shot that Savril has flopped here. Sam with the backdoor heart draw. One Follows up the 125K button raise open with 150K now. And Katz decides, no thank you. A little bit too much hand to send directly into the muck. Yeah, I find that a bit surprising. Um, but I think that if you see Carey play a lot, you'll see that sometimes he just goes with what he believes to be true in those situations. And sometimes he feels like, I, I don't think I have the best hand right now. I don't really want to chase. And I'm just going to let it go. But I think that for most players... It would be a call decide with that particular holding. I think from a strategic standpoint, too, if you find yourself in situations out of position in particular where you lack clarity moving forward and your hand just isn't all that strong and even when improved, doesn't improve in a manner that leaves you feeling super comfortable, right? For example, a nine rolls off and you have the bottom end of the straight or a six rolls off and you have bottom two pair, but there's a four liner on board can be beneficial to just say, I want to avoid those spots. Keep all of my swimming in clearer waters and not the murkier ones. Check. I think certainly though, it's a willingness to get involved in murky spots that separates the great from the good. Check. So we see cats Flopping a two-way straight draw here in a limp pot pre. And what a beautiful turn card that is for him. Yeah, nice to have the redraw to the flush as well. And trying to get Savarol to bite, not yet. And here comes a carry bet. Often described as a min bet or a very downsized barrel in relation to the pot 
You know what else is a carry bet? The manner in which he's putting the chips in. It's like a helicopter bet. You know how oh, people, yeah. the helicopter muck? It's just like real high up. That's the South Florida special, the <laughs> helicopter muck. Those boys mm -hmm. get in there. Sovereign in particular can put some real air underneath him when he's folding. Oh, yeah. It's just at the right height where you can't see the bottom card, but you almost can make out a color. Right. Two trays and an eight. All cats with trips. Sam drawing live on the turn, courtesy of the deuce, which gives him an open ender. There's the helicopter 50K. Right on schedule. After both players check the flop. And Sovereign turning quite a bit of equity will look to continue, but looks like wants to get a little bit aggressive with it. Check raising 3x. And Carey not looking to re-raise, just makes the call. Lying in wait. Beautiful river for him. Now has threes full, and might Sam think that Carey was in there spade fishing? Sovereign unblocks the spade draws without one in his hand, and he is playing the board here, but gives up. Deciding not to chase this pot. Count it is. He folded. Okay. Sovereign doesn't make a meal out of the 475k bet. Snap folding. I play the board. Yeah, Carrie, we're filming a TV <laughs> show back yeah. here. We need to know how much the bet is, all right? Run break. Well, on that note, these two will get their first intermission of heads up play. And as they do, we'll take a glimpse at the Poker Go Cup leaderboard. Brought to you by Zenny. Eyewear for everyone. A little over three million for Sovereign Cats with about one to five. Two to one chip lead. Can Sam take home the overall series title? Stay close, we leave you with Jeff and Brent and be back in a few. Welcome back to the Break Desk at the Poker Go studio. He's Brent, I'm Jeff and Brent. Kind of glad we got a break. Kind of need a minute to catch our breath after all the uh, action. You think you and I need to gather yeah. ourselves? Imagine how Daniel's oh. feeling right now. Holy cow. Absolutely brutal. Dan Smith out on the bubble in this main event, and that sets up a look at these payouts. It was Sean Winter laddering his way up to third, winning $368,000. And Brent, it's Daniel Negranu out in fourth and leaving the door wide open for Sam Savarro. Tenth place right now, Savarro in the standings. If he wins it, Jeff, we've talked about this over and over, he takes home the cup. Uh, I mean, that's ridiculous. Reminds me of what David Peters did back yeah. in 2019 when he came out of nowhere to take home the U.S. Poker Open title. I hate to replay this hand and talk about it some more, especially if Daniel Negreanu is watching. Oof. But he gets the chips in in the perfect spot, the spot that you can only dream of to pick up aces right there, to be called by eights and a clean flop. And oh! Oh! Oh, my gosh. It's 120 yeah. degrees here in Las Vegas, and somehow Sam Sovereign will able to build a snowman. Man. Oh, boy. That's going to... That's going to haunt Kid Poker a little What's bit. What's this sweat going to be like for him over this next, I don't know if it'll be 10 minutes or, or two hours. Well, he's sticking around the studio. He, he wanted to bounce over and take care of some, some stuff, and then okay. he's going to come back here and, and see what happens. His destiny now determined by Sam Sobrell. Maybe, 
Maybe Al Jefe can get it done and, and, and Negrano can take home that time. Yeah, Savaro with a win wins the Poker Go Cup. If he finishes second, the cup is Daniel Negrano's. Let's take a look at this leaderboard. It is presented by Zenny Eyewear for everyone. And it is about a two to one chip lead for Savaro. He's at 3.1 million. Carrie Katz at 1.5 million. Brent is Daniel Negrano, the biggest Carrie Katz fan in the world right now. Oh, you can bet your bottom dollar on that. One little note. Yeah. How about Sean Winter? Ladders yeah, up to a podium he finish. Yeah. He comes in with no chips. He was down to three big blinds and then just bang, bang, bang. And oh, hi, 368,000. Short stack ninja of sorts. All right, let us do this. Here we go. We'll send you off to some highlights. And then it's back to the action. Alina Jad and Maria Ho resume the call of the Poker Go Cup main event. Stay with us. Winter with just 385,000, slightly north of 10 big blinds. Maria, will anyone dethrone Savril? Here comes the cowboy. I don't cowboy think says no. so. Cowboy I, I just I'm look just at these the money. stacks, and it's going to be real tough for anybody to contend with him just because they're going to be quite handcuffed Everything. given <laughs> all of the ICM. No kidding, huh? No kidding. There you go. He said, well, I, I mean, I, I guess I don't have to look the other one. <laughs> and if you think that we've seen some real ICM what? jailhouses. Queen du Sud at 9 6 against nothing. Uh -huh. You see cats. 50 oh, 50. Carries all in first hand like 90% of the time. Yeah. He's always <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, I feel like you're going to win this what one. What do you Sam. want? I think Sam's going to win. What do you want, though? Sorry. No, oh, sorry. I want Sam to win. He called me with nothing. Of course he wants Sam to win. Yeah, no offense, because you're rich and stuff. You don't need the money. Moved all in, expecting nice. no one to be able to call, but Cat oh, says, let's go. Oh, and his ace jack man. looking very good against 9-6. What's a good sweat? Seven. Where did an ace come Seven, from? eight, four, six, nine. An ace. Ace is a good sweat. Seven, eight, four, six, nine, <laughs> deuce. Yeah. Good. Game over. GG. Five of clubs. Savril drawing dead no, and a very nice start to the Almost affair eight, for Cat, who immediately leaps. So you know, it might make you scratch your head a little bit, but that, uh, trust me when I tell you yeah. these players know how I'm they second. need to navigate, and sometimes it may straight? seem a little bit unorthodox, but, you know, we never really get to see this part of these high roller events, the I bubble, like and people will oh, yeah, definitely have to play uh, a certain I was just type of way. That's the worst, that's the worst, that's the worst I've gotten in. And, and you see 9-6 off suit was how Savril started the affair. Here he is with 8-3 off. It really does Same not distance. matter. He is going to apply the pressure and expect the rest of the field to comply and put the cuffs on. But if we know one thing about El Jefe, Kerry Katz, he's capable of bucking the trend. Yeah, Katz obviously suited. in a much know, different position right now after <laughs> doubling up, but <laughs> certainly ace five oh, no. suited, <laughs> a hand that you can defend huh? with, not something you're going to go pre-flop crazy with Harry's off of 27 Sam bigs, fit. but no, hey, <laughs> it could flop real well. Two fours and a ten, and eight three is in complete no man's land. Katz checking, and this is perhaps where we're going to see how difficult it becomes to navigate post flop, though Katz picks up the nut flush draw and nut no pair with tens and fours on board. Yeah, Savril against Katz's stack and just the fact that he knows Katz will be calling with a fairly strong range is not just going to blast off post. And that is the one st stack that now, courtesy of the double, will certainly navigate the waters differently. Three is inconsequential. Savril just playing eight high. See Katz flinging a bet out there. Yeah, the old ten. He is two for two against Savril. Not how Sam scripted the start to this thing. Got that South Florida poker pedigree. <laughs> Defending who? I can't wear a pair of sweatpants <laughs> into the studio without Sam Savril asking me when I'm going to get my FUBU sponsorship. <laughs> Cats with dominating hand and enough chips to again be 
calling out of the small blind, whereas a lot of these other players don't have the freedom to maybe play some speculative hands post right. against Sobral. King, Queen, Trey, and Cats again with the better of it against Sam here. It feels like this texture is looking for an obligatory C bet from Sobral, but of course, Cats will not be folding. And the thing is, is again, Sobral will not just take off post flop against Cats' stack, but certainly when the board presents itself in a way where Sobral feels like he should have the ability to maybe get cats off of some weaker holdings. He's going to go for it. And look at this ace of diamonds on the turn. Obviously, everyone knows that Sombrel's range is wide, wide open right now. Typically, he might have followed through with another barrel on the turn, maybe try to rep, and perhaps even a third on the end as we see the queen pair. But cats, the one stack he really does need to respect and be somewhat wary of. And Perhaps the, the Gary player like showing his hand, so that's the minimum. That would be least apt <laughs> Show his to hands. be compliant. <laughs> I think those are the NFT icons, right? You're shaking your head yes. I think a lot of people went out and purchased what they deemed to be their own likeness for avatar purposes. Yeah, kind of in the style of some crypto punks and things <coughs> like that. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the NFT space. I was like real Marcus excited open. about it, and now it's kind Sorry. of First subsided open. for me. But hopefully, it won't be the last. Cats min raise open hopefully now. Smith two tens on the button and a bit of a weird spot for him, Maria. Yeah, I was getting on my turn. Currently third in chips and second in chips. The man who opened. Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. Negrano and Winter out there. Sean with just seven bigs. Go ahead. Yeah, obviously a really strong hand. All in. All in. Moves all in. But it's always a little nerve-wracking. Oh! Oh! And this is exactly why. Should be 590. Savro waking up with the two jacks. Yeah, I mean, usually it's not nerve-wracking at all to get it in with tens here because you know you're going to be way ahead of cutoff openers range, but in this situation on the bubble, <laughs> you would just be so happy to get folds. Cannot believe that Sobral has woken up with such a big hand here in the small blind. Now, is there any argument to doing something other than just calling if we're Sovereign? Obviously, carry second and chips could deal him a big blow in case these jacks were no good. Maybe the min raise three bet that we saw Jason Kuhn employ? Yeah, you see here, instead of ISOing, he calls Jackson just in case Carey shoves all in chance. after him. Give me my he hand can back. still maybe fold his jacks, Jacks feeling against like tens. Beat. What do you uh, have, Carey? Sam has jacks, I Dan has I had ace seven. I'm going to go full jinx on y'all. You want your hand back, Smith? Gary? You want uh, King Queen here? Can't possibly win. Not oh. oh, the reverse jinx. Mm. Cowboy oh, yeah. Dan. A no, your suits are live. Going yeah. to the Gambler's Book of Superstition. Right? And right. your straights are live. Putting your backpack Three. on and walking uh, away from the table is one of them. Grab no, your drink. The jacks are better than Say you aces. can't win. Tell everyone good game. So brutal. Just if ever there was a time oh, where he needed Cole Lady Luck to be on his side, side, it's right now. Way Four. behind with the two tens and not looking great. The backdoor diamonds are available on the ace-king five board. Cats would have been in front of the field with king-queen. Yeah, I mean, I have a fun hand. What do you do if you defend against him? Or you just fold? I, get to, I, I, I think I have to. Yeah. Turn is a red down? eight. The beautiful facade of the Poker Go studio playing host to the final moments of the inaugural Poker Go Cup. Event number eight, the 100K buy-in, and just two remain here at level 17, 30 and 60, with a 60K ante. Ali Najad and Maria Ho bringing you Kerry Katz versus Sam Savril. Savril, the chip leader, coming into play. And things remain fairly unchanged from the onset of Heads Up Play. 23 total entries with a 2.3 million chip prize pool. Dan Smith 
was the unfortunate money bubble. On the outside, looking in, one of these two men will be crowned champion and Check. pick up over $1 million yeah, for the like effort. I had no chips and lost it And all a in. very respectable second place payout of 644K will go to the runner up as we resume play. Deuce three suited against queen six, three on the turn, giving cats the best hand after a couple of checks in this limp pot pre to start off the 30-60 round. Cats really doing his best to hang in there, try to deny Sovereign the Poker Go Cup series title. Sovereign does control his own destiny. Aliyam Shervich, after two wins in the series, looked to be the overwhelming favorite. It was unclear whether or not anyone would be able to dethrone him. Mine. I had no king outs. Queen. Jack or 10. I guess I make a good decision on a queen. I might have folded. But with Negranu's victory bad turn for you. in yeah. event number like seven, a or, or a queen. And his fourth yeah. place finish here today, where he really could have iced it with a third before getting coolered by Savril's eights against Negranu's aces. I better be careful. I could have got in there on the floor. Imshirovich was dethroned. You just you, you feel frustrated. Feel a, feel a raise coming. And Negranu. I'm going to let you check. Sneak through. Good. Is awaiting this outcome. Just Cheering cats it. on as a carry victory is worth 50K and the overall series title for Daniel. Meanwhile, King 7 8, all cats in a limp pot. He continues to have that cavalier look to him when he's firing chips into the pot. Couldn't be less phased right now. And I think it's worth mentioning, Ollie, that the other Ollie, Imshurovich, kind of just ran into a couple of unfortunate spots yesterday, coming in to yesterday's final table as the chip leader and being the first one out. And obviously, if he had finished and placed higher up, then he wouldn't have had to sweat from the sidelines today with all of these different moving parts. There was a scenario where he could have pretty much locked it up yesterday with a win. Raise and take it for Sam, who has definitely not exhibited any signs of impatience or Frustration. Chip denominations brought to you by Nerd Focus. Those yellow bumblebees joining the fray. Two trays on the button for cats. He limps, goes set mining, comes up empty, but no pair for Sovereign on the Queen 10 6 board. Cool. Sam decides, I'm all done staring at these flop bets. Check. Turn. Takes one off and does have the gut shot straight draw on the turn and king high. Cats firing again, trying to rep a stronger hand than he actually has, obviously, and makes Sam folds quite a bit of equity there. And those are the kind of barrels for me, Maria, that really help to establish Katz as not a guy who is out of his element in any way, shape, or form here. Those two trays oftentimes will just draw a check back from somebody who doesn't have some of the gumption necessary to get the job done at these stakes, but not carry. 
Yeah, I think for any of these players that may have underestimated Carey a few years ago, they very quickly learned that he is not just here to sit around, sit back, wait for the nuts. He is definitely firing and definitely putting them in tough spots. Both players with rags. <clears throat> Advantage Savril on the button. And oftentimes we'll see players look to take the real bottom end of their range and do some raising with it to try to pick up pots without having to take a flop. But I think we've seen Sam employ a limping strategy with it and take those chips and fire on the flop. And what better time than right now to remind you that you can pick your Poker Go Cup Fantasy team today on Super Draft. New users can boost their bankroll with a $50 deposit match when you sign up and use the code PokerGo. Go to dailyfantasypoker.com to get started. Checked in on your lineups, Maria? Yeah, I, listen, I haven't been the best at picking them. <laughs> but uh, I definitely had Daniel yesterday, so that was good. That worked out. Katz makes it a buck 30 to go. Sovereign defends. Ace, queen, eight, two diamonds. Bottom two pair for Sovereign. And aces up for cats. Buckle up. Carry. Exact same vibe as when he's had dust. Fire 75K on the button. So certainly nothing to be gleaned from that. And if we're Sam, there is some vulnerability to this queen eight, Maria. Yeah, it does look like he's cutting out chips in order to fast play what... Total. He feels like has to be far and away the best hand here. Definitely a cooler for Sovereign. Just 8% to win this pot. Broadway draws, diamond draw on his mind as he makes it 275. And Katz might be feeling that same vulnerability that you speak of with that very wet board texture. Trying to decide. Did I use a, you know what? I got 12, 11 of them. I probably should use one. Besides, he's going to wait to see the turn. King of spades. Not exactly arid. 10 jack, which was a double gutter on the flop. Got there. Eight seventy in the middle. Ten seconds. And Sam certainly asking himself what exactly it is that Carrie called the check raise with, but he decides it's nothing that has this queen eight in bad shape. Firing three hundred and fifty k now on this turn. Yeah, and the sizing would also make it so that Sabral could get called by worse as well. So. The type of sizing where you don't really think you're beat, but also you want to leave it open so that worse hands can call you. Carry flat calls, and that's the kind of run out which could spare us a real big showdown on the river. See Sam looking down at his stack. Yeah, especially considering, you know, Katz called a check raise on the flop, called on the turn. You can't really feel like there's any way you can keep betting for value by any means with this run out against somebody who has shown a lot of interest in this pot on every street. And the same thing applies in Kerry's mind, Maria, as he elects to just check back, show the aces up. I think that run out actually saves I I Sam a considerable amount of chips. We hear Kerry say you should have jammed the turn. 
Absolutely. And I think several. You have a two Where do they get these decks? <laughs> I feel like they come out of the earth. What'd you have? What's going on? Yeah, I was just saying Sabrell's sigh of frustration is much more because he felt like what a setup and less so like he was mad at the run out because the run out certainly spared him some chips there. I kind of want to bet on Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, anybody want to take that bet from Sabrell? Well, Katz is your new chip leader. So jam the turn. I think you're calling. You have a, I didn't think you have a two pair. You have 16. Oh, 16 right. Sean Perry chiming in from just offset. <sighs> Should have jammed. Most of the time, he doesn't bother to stay offset when <laughs> needling. He just walks right up to the final table and does it on camera. Yeah, definitely someone who is often seen and heard. King, queen, eight with a couple of diamonds. Neither player with a pair, but that doesn't stop Katz from check calling the 60K bet. And the jack on the turn improves his spot which was already Check. the best hand to third pair. Check. Sovereign seems to be all done with it. Queen pairs on the end. Check. Check down. And Jack. Check down and carry. Hauls another one in, and momentum appears to be in that corner. And you've been there, Maria. Can you even though I jam the turn? Is your hand strong enough? Shit. Yeah, that was not a real flop. You have queen eight? I blew it. I blew it heads up a lot recently. Oh, that was bad, not jamming that turn. I'd be the worst heads up player. That was bad. Well, you hear Sovereign getting down on himself. Like three in a row if I lose this. Mentioning that he's lost two heads up battles. I had a better record. 20 in a row or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can beat that one. In a row. I hope not. Certainly a drop in the bucket compared to Negranu's drought. Taking down his first major since 2013 Shit. with the win in event number uh, seven. But when you come into heads up play with. The turn. That two to one chip lead. On the flop when you had king queen. And then you lose it. I just you start to get kind of those thought doomsday you thoughts. And you're gonna have to jam the river in your mind, so and it true. does take quite a bit of psychological strength to stay the course and not get that sinking feeling in your stomach. Yeah, we talk a lot about what separates the good from the great and mental fortitude in these situations when things are not going your way is certainly one of those factors. And while it may seem like a self-evident point to be made or something that isn't as consequential, it truly is a big part of any career player Back to what it takes for that career to be great, not good. Meanwhile, gut shot straight draw for Carey. Check calls the 110K from Savril, who opened to 160 on the button to kick things off, and a very welcome jack of hearts on the turn for Sam. Queen eight suited at least. Okay. Maybe a physical Love. trying yeah, to shake it off. It'd have folded if it wasn't suited. The 
inner voice in his head. Free. Yeah, but I didn't have a chance to fold this one. Oh, no, you didn't. I, I, I just opened on the one. Way. Yeah. Uh, blew the turn. Stupid. Carry check folded his gut shot straight draw to Sam's turn I bed. I could maybe bluff the river. Yeah, you could have. You would have folded? Tough spot. No, because I, 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 I put you on a, flush, on a flush draw, so I wasn't folding. It's hard for you to fold when you have all the pairs. Negranu imbibing in the background there. Yes. I hated that turn because she could have had a 10 jack. Carries turn to hold queen eight, unsuited, however. On the button, he made it 130 to go. Sovereign defends and promptly flops a king, leaving him with middle pair and way the best of it. Check calls that now standard 75K follow through from Carey. Who picks up a Broadway draw while Savril now has diamonds for backup? And Katz yeah, staying aggressive has that feeling of momentum and position and a little bit of equity should he get called. Savril check called the 250K and now Katz hits an eight. Can't imagine he thinks that that hand has much showdown value, maybe busted spades with no pair for Savril. We'll get it done and look at this, Ooh. a courageous barrel on the river from Katz into 970K. Do you have me covered now? That's no, I like so. You're ahead of all. Sorry, how much? 675. Talk about feeling it and putting the pressure on after winning a huge pot off of Sovereign a few hands earlier. Triple barreling in this spot and putting sorry, that, that king seven in a really, really tough position. Of course, we see the obvious busted draw from the flop is spades and Sovereign does not block that. An but important point to make. But of course, queen 10 type pans, something that Kerry would definitely play this way and would have his hand beat. Certainly some good ace X's. Remember, Kerry did raise on the button, so has a lot of those strong aces. I don't think I could ever. Boy, Savril was just fixed on cats for a moment there as he Spends another time bank. I'm not detecting any nervous energy off of Carrie right neither. now. So Sovereign might as well just yeah keep, pay attention to the board and think this through in his head because I'm not really sure if a live read is going to do it for him. Wow, he gets away right, with it. I'll show you this one. Oh, <laughs> no. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. <laughs> and that's going to rattle the cage. As you hear Negranu ecstatic to see Katz. Ace five. King seven. Really? Wow. You had a good read, man. Not good enough. I put in a maximum and folded. What? I said not good enough. I put in a maximum and folded. I couldn't have worked out much worse. Okay, I'm going to say it. If Kerry wasn't already in his head, he is definitely living in Sam's head rent-free now. There's no chance. Just because I think Sovereign was already kind of feeling a little self-defeated, talking about how he really hasn't been winning in these heads-up situations. And... Yeah, he said, I must be the worst. And, you know, some of it is being facetious, but obviously it comes from an authentic place. Some of that self-doubt. Yeah, and, and, you know, just now after seeing a second bluff shown to him by Katz. Is it 150 or? 
Yeah. I, I know I'd be shook. Ace queen four with a couple of diamonds. Ace is up for cats. Chose to defend for an extra 90K after Savo made it 150 to go. Now Sam barreling 75. Cats flings the call in there. Over half a million in the pot and four is full means he doesn't need to worry about any diamonds. Not that Savrel had the diamond draw anyhow, but Katz has yeah. Sam drawn dead. Savrel checks back. Yeah, while well, Katz checks his hand to make sure, yeah, you really do have a boat, Carrie. Good 100. Katz, that's 100,000 into 510. And if you're Sam, you start to just get this thought like, this guy can't just have it every time, right? And he's shown some bluffs. Yeah, but manages to stay disciplined there and not maybe let some of that frustration seep in. Decides to fold. Real implications for Savril, who has already etched his name onto a few majors through the course of his career. Would love to add this inaugural Poker Go Cup to the resume, and of course, that sweet 50K overlay. Katz limps the king on the button. Savril says run it. King high board. And okay. Sam with a little piece That's in the form time. of a deuce looks up at another one of these nonchalant flop flings. 75K. Okay. All right, let's go, says Sam. About a tricky turn to get away from if you're Savril. A six, just a very welcome sight for a hand like Jack Deuce. Looks like Sovereal is contemplating a lead 35. here with that board pairing. Just maybe controlling the size of the bet. <laughs> wow. That quickly gets raised. And Sam just snap folds. He's just done thinking about it. You got a good record in these. <laughs> I don't know what? if he means heads up battles or the hands that he's played against Sam. Look at the current chip counts brought to you by Zenny. Eyewear for everyone. 3.2 million to 1.4. A reversal of fortune and then some for Cats who is flip-flop with Savril. Sean Winter and Daniel Negreanu, the only other two players in the money. And Sam starting to speed up. Can't blame him with King-Queen, makes it 150 on the button. Misses the Jack-8-7 board, which produces a two-way straight draw for Cats. Savril open-ended on the turn. Frustrating to look up at that 150K bet with a four-liner on board. Yeah, but the ability to make the nuts feels nice for Sam and continues. Total air ball on the river and look at Katz. He has six high, Maria. <laughs> all the will, all the confidence. And the show again. Wow, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point. Here's the crazy part, though. He's shown it so often, and yet he continues to go back to it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Which is the leveling game, because Sam's got to be thinking, this dude wouldn't, after showing me three times, do it again. Right. But he keeps coming with it. <laughs> it's called twice now to win. Yeah. It does feel true. like at this point, cats can One do no wrong. Ridiculous. He's river dancing in <laughs> Sam's skull. Okay. It feels abusive. <laughs> I mean, at this point, just relentlessly oh. targeting every chip in Sovereign's stack. He's in the zone, feeling it. Can do no wrong, it would seem. One seventy five. Here for one seventy five total. Oh. Limp fold from Carey. Sam wins all the big ones. <laughs> Sovereign down to a sub twenty big blind one stack. One. Yeah. Still deep enough, though, for him to navigate post-flop. And I have to imagine that, you know, with all of that self-defeating rhetoric and sort of lack of momentum, that Sam isn't just suddenly going to decide to blast off. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, sure. I definitely feel like Sovereign is going to try to stay patient and try to make smart moves and good decisions regardless. Sure. Sub-10 bigs might be a different story. You may feel far more urgency to spin it up, but right now he's still trying to cobble. Look at Carey. Check calls with King High on the ace-jack-8 board, picks up a Broadway draw on the turn, and Sovereign might be looking at this board with this holding and thinking, well, it worked for Carey. Maybe I can pull it off. in the middle. Check. Sam with a little bit of posturing. Settles on a check back. Check. Board pairs, carry checks, and Sam's got to know he has no showdown value here, but just See Carey come with the snap call so often here and just produce a 10, a jack, something in that neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. King high. Sam. Sam gives up. And this is this is gonna sting. Yeah, there just is a sense of uncertainty and hesitation right now, I think, coming from Sobral just because Katz has proven himself to be extremely sticky and Unwilling to give up on pots. Doesn't feel like he's going to be easy to bluff. Not able to tell a very believable story. Sabro felt like in the end and gave up. The turn was clearly where he might have been able to take it. I love how we just see Negranu pacing in the background with the drink in hand. Back and forth. Swig after swig. I want him to take the wine and just toss it into the air if Cats were to complete this comeback like they do when someone scores a goal at the Euro Cup. You just see <laughs> all the cups flying down onto the field. All the airborne liquid. That's still far from a foregone conclusion, though, as we know Sovereign is some of poker's finest sitting in that seat. No pushover. There's queen high as best on this run out. Yep. Limped pre and checked queen all seven. the way down. And Good. Even though he wins this pot, you and I have both been there where you're like, oh, great. I just win one blind here. You win heaps yeah. when we get to showdown. I win nothing. Yeah, it definitely feels like an uphill climb when you're just hanging on. 
And that's where you always get the needle from the other side going, yeah, win one, lose one. But I mean, we're looking at the 2019 British Poker Open champion, the 2019 Poker Masters champion in Sam, Sam Soverall that, again, yeah. he could very easily turn this situation around. Of course, he might need a little bit of help from the deck, but. And he's a gamer, both literally and proverbially. I mean, Soverall has deep roots and competitive Starcraft and chess from a young age. So all of the strategy translating well into the poker streets. And look at this. Uh-oh. Katz has himself top pair. Sovereign, who raised the button with this 6-7 suited, has a flush draw. Checks it back. And that's certainly going to hide the flush if it shows up, which it has not. Gut shot, straight draw added to the arsenal for Sovereign here, and it looks like Carey's going to come with a bet. 175. 175K. Yeah, really interesting turn for Sovereign. Just feels like so much equity with this combo draw right now. Has about 900K back. He's going to look to realize it by flatting and does not. Three pairs on the river. And Katz doesn't appear all too concerned whatsoever with Sam's holding. He fires that super downsized carry bet, 100K into 710 after firing 150 into a much smaller pot on the turn. And could Sovereign have something heroic on his mind. Well, doesn't have that cape swag right now. And just mucks. And down to 12 big blinds for Sovereign. And this is the turning point, I think, where we will see cats perhaps start mixing in some open shoves with some limp shove call-offs. Six, four on the button. Just gonna let Sovereign have it. Uh, wow, yeah, he's yeah. not gonna be amused by that. Uh, mm -hmm. Tremendous fold. Tremendous. Or six off. Oh, I'm so dope. <laughs> I wanted to shove. This was an expensive heads up game. Yeah, maybe that was what did it for Sovereign. Not, not the multiple bluff shown, but, but just Carry giving him a walk when Sam had a very right. clear shove. The straw that broke the camel's back. Not what you think it was, but just a accumulation of death by a thousand paper cuts. He said, I'm so tilt. He didn't even bother to say tilted. That's how rattled he is. And when he says it's an expensive heads up battle, it's not over yet, but $414,000 separating first and second so real implications if Kerry can pull this off and he is starting to sun run Maria middle pair with seven eight Sovereign gonna float with nine high here pretty courageous given that he doesn't have a lot of depth in his stack now a diamond comes off, Katz check. adds a flush draw to the sevens, decides to check. How will Sovereign respond to the texture? Well, when you float, you gotta have a plan, and for now the plan is to barrel, and if called, might have to go for it all on the river. All in. All in. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is just abuse. 
Nats check shoves on Sam. Zavril, you couldn't hear, you could hear him. Just can't help but chuckle, you know? Helps that you never have anything. <laughs> Ouch. He has every chip. Negreanu has gone from wine to beer. And gone from sitting down at his own table to standing up and very interested looking on. Oh, Why wouldn't he be? 50K on the line and here comes some of that open shoving that you predicted. This time with 9-7 suited. Eight clubs, two hearts. And Savril apparently had a deuce. Just can't do anything. Yeah. Well, if you ever wanted to know what it feels like to be an innocent harbor seal pup on the ice shelf in Nova Scotia, <laughs> feast your eyes on Sam Savril. Carrie's got a spiked club and some waders on. Looking to call the herd. You think Greenpeace is going to tweet me? After I, that? I I absolutely do. You've you've said a few. You've had a few animal analogies <laughs> throughout. I love the animals series too. Where uh, yeah, I think I think you're going to get a couple of ats. <laughs> Sabral diminished to six bigs and not a great looking hand on the button. Wow. We'll give it up. This is more of the trashy part of the deck for Sabral, who is just bleeding out before our eyes. Just five bigs now for Sam. And now e even more hands will do for cats at a five big blind effective depth with one big dead in the middle. Put it in. Owen. Owen. Go. In it goes with queen high on the button. Katz decides to try to deal the finishing blow to Sam Savril, who says, let's go with 10-9. I have like no chips left. Queen high, queen high, queen high. <laughs> you got a feel for Savril, Maria. I'm blinded off down to like two bigs. Can his 10-9 improve? It certainly can't. <laughs> Sam needs a 10 or a 9. Turn doesn't produce it. And Katz just one card away from the title in event number 8. And Negranu. One card away from being the overall series champion and fifty thousand dollars richer. The deuce wow. of spades seals Savril's yeah. fate as the runner-up. We're gonna interview. If you can stand it, if you can stand it. I'm off that. Huh? I gotta take a piss. All right. Thank you, Elhefe. Congratulations, Carrie. Oh, Savril not good. interested yeah. in sticking. Do I get? I, do I get twenty-five k of it? All right. I, drinks on me, buddy. Good hey, job. I'm not a hugger, but what the fuck? I'm drinking. Yeah. Good job, man. You crushed him. You know, oh, I, I, just I got, can't I just blame Sam Sovereign one bit for wanting that DMI can get out of this studio as quickly as possible. Okay. I know That's going to be the saltiest $644,000 he's ever made. Good job, man. Second biggest payout of the entire series, but it came with a huge helping of disappointment as Kerry Katz is your champion in event eight. One million, $58,000 richer, his seventh. Seven figure score ever as you look at the payouts brought to you by Zenny. Eyewear for everyone. It was painful to watch, Maria. Yeah, I mean, everything started out quick and dirty, and then when it got to heads up, it just felt like cats could not lose, could not do or make the wrong play. Sabral 
self-defeated pretty early on in the heads up match and just became a self-fulfilling prophecy for him. I called it the second biggest payout of the series. I neglected to remember that Negranu, with his victory yesterday, actually won 700,000, so it's the third biggest payout of the series. And just to add that to all of the things that Sam has to be upset about, I mean, just really feel for him. Well, normally this would be the time where I would be sending it down to the felt. Jeff would be standing by with two players, but instead it is just one. Your champion, El Jefe and Jeff Platt. Let's send it down. All right, here with the winner of the Poker Go Cup and the Poker Go Cup main event. Kerry Katz, I will start with you. What does this title mean to you? Well, Mills when, it means over a million dollars, so I'm pretty excited about that score. Um, I think it was first 100K of the year, so. Um, felt very fortunate because I came in second. I was second to last in chips and doubled up the first hand, and then it was smooth sailing from there. So, How would you sum up how the inaugural Poker Go Cup went? I think it was a lot of fun, and I think it's pretty amazing that Daniel faded this thing and uh, ended up winning. Pretty pretty awesome. I'm very, ex very excited for him. He, uh, he was way behind, and he had to win the 50K, and then he had to cash the 100K, and he did both, which is a uh, pretty amazing uh, accomplishment. That is pretty impressive. Congratulations on your run. That is the perfect transition to this. Daniel Negreanu, you have won the inaugural Poker Go Cup. This trophy is yours. You can hoist it in the air, do whatever you would like with it. We're going to pour some yours. beer in that one. <laughs> All right. First drink from the cup. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never rooted for a billionaire to win a million dollars more than I did just now for my man, Kerry Katz. And I'm going to drink to my man, Kerry. Thank you very it much. Mmm. It tastes so good out of this. It's nice and cooling. I'm ecstatic. Obviously, I was annoyed to lose with the aces. But, you know, kudos to Kerry. Because Kerry comes into these things with the mentality of winning. You know, he gets a reputation as a guy who inches his way in. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he, on the bubble, called with ace-jack of hearts, right? A lot of people might say, well, maybe he's supposed to fold that. But Kerry's going for the win. And I got to say, I appreciate it. <laughs> Do you consider this a breakthrough moment in your career? Well, I think it's a, a nice cap to just the run that I've been on. And I want to shout out to my wife, Amanda, who's been with me, like, through it all. Like, she feels it, you know? She feels when I come home and I tell her aces against eights or whatever. And I, can, I know she's there with me, my ride or die. So to her, she likes when I have beer breath, too. It's a <laughs> thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink this up for her. <laughs> uh, we talked a lot about confidence over this last year. How did you always make sure that that did not waver, no matter how bad you ran? Well, that, you know, when you've been playing poker as long as I have, right, you, uh, you just focus on, like, the decisions in the hands yeah. that you play, right? And if you feel good about them and, you know, you're losing in all-ins or flips, I felt really confident that my game was getting better and better and better and better, and the results were not there. Uh, luckily, I've got a, I'm a resilient dude, and I was able to hang tough, but it was tough. Like, Kerry had to hold me up when the eight hit the turn. Like, I was almost on the ground. I bet that beer tastes extra special. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, there it is. Daniel Negrani, the winner of the inaugural Poker Go Cup. Kerry Katz, the winner of the main event. Ali? Thank you, Jeff. And that does it for the inaugural Poker Go Cup. Kerry Katz, your champion in event number eight. Negrano, you overall series winner. And a disappointed Sam Sovereign, your runner up. What a series it was, Maria. Such a pleasure to be here in the booth and to be able to watch it all unfold right next to you, Ali. Great time as always. Cannot wait for the next one. For sure. And we certainly hope that all of you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until the next one, on behalf of our entire crew here in Las Vegas and my partner Maria Ho, I'm Ali Najat signing off and saying so long.